What's up, everybody? Hello. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to our last live stream before St. Martin. Hey, hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. Ah, yes, we are headed back to St. Martin on Sunday. We've been going for 16 years together. I was going to say, you got to put that together on there. Cause yeah, together, because be you've been going since you were a teenager. But uh, for me, I've experienced it for the past 16 years. Has it really been that long? It has been that long. I've been taking him for too long. That's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep, yep. Take him once and he's hooked and he just always has to come now. Like, even yeah. if I'm like, oh, oh, you can't go. That's all right. I'm going to go. What do you mean? You can't go. No, I'm going to go with you. Yeah. So every year since 2008 that we could go, we did. Right. You know, some there reasons were... why you couldn't go was one, we opened a business one year and yeah. didn't go that year. And there hurricane was a hurricane. In, with foster, no, not foster, parentheses, as parentheses. Yeah. And then, hurricane. of course, COVID. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The big C. And we, yeah. We're all paid for that. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. We were all paid up, ready to go, ticket, everything was paid, and they wouldn't let us go because the government shut us down. Everything got shut down. Right. Yep. And so um, our timeshare would not give us the money back. I was mad. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's not fair. Like, we're not able to go. Like, our government is not letting us go. But yeah. the airlines Their government wouldn't let us go. So. Right. Both governments. But the airlines actually banked our our tickets and we went the next year. Do you remember? Yeah. We were class. able to go first class <laughs> and have money left over. Yeah. And that was fun. We were living it up in style. We sure were. Yes. Uh, Abby, we uh, are going yes. on American Airlines again. So Abby's year. asking if we were, we met Abby last year. So if and you're. Our favorite, well, no, was she came to our yeah. favorite place once. Yep. We, uh, uh, we met last year. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Abby's Aviation, make sure you check out her channel. Uh, we met her and her parents uh, at the bird park. Yes, Actually, we were leaving the bird park um, in Phillipsburg last year, or just outside of Phillipsburg. And we were walking down to the bus stop because we take a bus everywhere in, in St. Yeah, Martin. we do. If you don't know how to do that, I've got a couple of videos on it. He does. Uh, there are we do. some of our very early videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we do. Um, yeah. Very early videos from last year in St. Martin. So if you're ever going to St. Martin, you definitely want to check out those videos because they tell you how to get on the bus, take it to Maho and back, uh, get you basically from downtown Phillipsburg to Maho and back for four bucks. Uh, it tells you all the etiquette, things to do and say and not do on the buses. So uh, real good. But yeah, Abby, um, we met her and her parents and we all went to our favorite little restaurant there on the boardwalk in Phillipsburg, which is called Caribbean Blend. Yes. And we will be um, going again this year. If you've heard of the, the Lolos that are over in Grand Case. Grand uh, or Grand Cos. Grand Cos. You, know, you, you tell us. Yeah. Um, great little restaurant, similar type vibe, but uh, yeah, it sure was fun. Yes. Yep. Abby, Abby remembers that. Um, neat little place, open air. They cook on open grills. Right there. And in yeah, great food. Love it there. And it's right off the pier. So if you're cruising and you stop, um, in St. Martin, yep. it's literally probably halfway down the pier, I guess. Uh, well, the boardwalk. The yeah. boardwalk, if, sorry. if you take the water taxi, it drops you off uh, at a pier that's kind of right in the middle of the boardwalk. And if you look down towards the town, you'll see uh, the courthouse. Uh, turn to the left, go down about four or five blocks or so, and Caribbean Blend will be down there. It's brightly colored. and It's kind of like his shirt. Yeah, with Jamaican some yellow, colors and all that kind of yellers. stuff. Yellers. So, and oranges. Um, anyway, um, yep. So why are uh, we Speaking of my shirt, oh, wait, uh, wait. I'm going to give you guys a tip. Again? Well, They should be paying you for they this. Sh they sh have I talked about this before? We talked about it on the Helen. Uh... Yeah, but that hadn't even aired yet. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, our, that hasn't aired yet? No, our Helen oh, so video you're gonna... doesn't come out for a couple <laughs> of weeks. All right. Talk about it again. So one of my favorite <laughs> photography gear companies, uh, Polar Pro. Yeah. 
So anyway, um, I was on their website a month or so ago and noticed that they had all of their, their uh, gear, their clothing um, was on sale. Hey, Scott Smith. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Driving and listening. Um, so anyway, Polar Pro had all of their gear on sale. Now this gear is, this clothing is designed for photographers that get out in the wild, in the wild and rugged elements, you know. So they have uh, raincoats and they have, um, you know, the puppy jackets and they have fleeces and they have tech shirts that are, you know, like 20% merino wool and all this kind of stuff. And apparently they're closing it all out. I mean, they had the puppy jackets that we got and the rain jackets that we got because we needed gear for Alaska. Uh, we got an Alaska cruise coming up in, in June. And these $200 jackets were 50 bucks. They were marked down to 50 bucks. So, if But you're you have, telling everyone so we won't be able to get it. They're all going to get it. Yeah, we all sold well, out. Hey, but... I've got my jacket. Oh, my, he's fine. My yeah. raincoat and <laughs> bought this fleece a, a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, sizes and colors may be a little bit limited, but if you're in need of uh, of good uh, rugged gear, yes, I I like the way this stuff fits. And it they're not paying him to do this. He's well shouting them yeah, out because he loves it so much. I'm just shouting them out because Polar Pro uh, is a great company for photography company. filters, and I would expect their gear to be good since it's designed for photographers that are out in the elements. Out in the wild. And it... it turns out to be really good and it's on clearance so yeah do with that what you want um they're not paying me they don't know i exist but <laughs> uh hopefully that helps yes hey oh. we got destination fun and sherry captain Some sherry else, captain and uh abby says you guys should go to aruba sometime we were actually in aruba Shall we uh, but, up? yes yeah that's up uh, back in November on Odyssey of the Seas. My birthday cruise. So that was our first time to Aruba. That was really cool. We did an ATV excursion on a desert island that never rains, but it rained the day we were there. So we went mudden. Yeah. And I still have stains on my bright yellow shirt that I love so much. We got Hikanuki World Tour. Yeah, I'll let cool. You say that. <laughs> I uh, just came across your live stream. We we're new to the YouTube channel, a new YouTube channel, and we were just in St. Martin in January. Awesome. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Tell us what you love there. And, yeah. And um, so, so far, I think we've got mostly YouTubers in on this live stream. Not surprising. That's okay. Uh, they're going to help YouTubers like to jump in on this. So, you guys, make sure that, uh, that you look each other up and uh, cross-subscribe. And if you do that, Make sure you watch a video on that channel because if you don't watch a video on the channel, YouTube your will subscription kick you will out disappear. Of the yeah, I had that happen to me one day. I had like was on a live stream and had like nine people subscribe to They're me. The excited. next day, I had yeah, eight disappear, and it's like, oh, what happened? But mm -hmm. anyway, all so, right. Yeah, we've got some uh, we got some cool new folks on here. So anyway, okay. back to what we were talking about. All right, so why are we here? We are here because we're letting you guys you guys have some put out some suggestions do. of things for us to do in St. Martin. Yeah. And if we get enough, uh, especially enough suggestions of things that either we haven't done or aren't already doing this year, or might be just fun uh, to do. or <laughs> just sound like they they would be really fun to do, um, then we're going to pick one of those and or two, uh, we're going to do it depending yeah. on what they are. Like Well, we'll pick one. We'll pick one. We'll pick one. We'll, we'll if it's a big one, if they're little ones, we can. It's yeah, on. little ones we may be able yeah, to do. Yeah, if we can afford to do <laughs> all, we're going to do it all. Yeah. All right. So what are we doing this year? Um. Well, oh, Captain Sherry said they've never been there. They're going to November on the ascent. Oh. So we do have a bunch of uh, our newest, or not newest, but our first videos out. Um, now they may not have been the best. We're getting much, much better now <laughs> with our editing and videos and yeah. entertaining We're, you know, we're kind of monotone like this and we're kind of calm and we talk other than, da, 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 da. but now we're like, okay, we're yeah. a little more upbeat and you know, we kind of, we're, we're getting better. So, but, uh, we do, it's a we, process you know, we've been for going sure. for a long time and, uh, we have, uh, lots of things 
that we've done over the years. And so we're going to try and do some different things and maybe do some of uh, the same things, but different. So this year we have an excursion planned with random winds. Yes. Um, excursion. And it is a, like a catamaran, and right? It's like a half a day. I'm not, sh I'm not even sure where they're I can't going. I remember. Yeah. But, it was um, we've it's kind of like a sail around the Island. And it sounded so, like so much fun. So um, we're going to do that. Um, and then, well, actually first, first, this coming Monday, we are meeting oh, up. It's Monday already. Yeah. That's going to be on it's Monday. So fast. It is. We, we got so much going on at work right now, trying to get everything ready for and us my, to be I'm not gone even packed, for a week. Like, I'm not packed. <laughs> yeah. Laurie actually just walked in the door like an hour, barely an hour yeah, ago um, uh, from work. But um, actually Monday, back to what we're talking about, we are meeting up with uh, Rizelle, the, the, tra girl. Oh, the, the traveling, traveling island, island girl. girl. Uh, she's got a YouTube channel. You can check her out. Uh, she is a local there on St. Martin. She also has uh, her own tour company and she does a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, but she does private island tours. Um, I want to do a shout out to Rusty Rocket. Yeah, well, you can check out uh, our Rusty Rocket video from St. Martin last year. Uh, that is her husband's uh, bar or restaurant place. It's right in... Uh, was it uh, yeah, Simpson was, Bay? Yeah, kind uh, of area. Or Cole just, Bay, or Cole Bay, yeah. Right across from the Windjet from the airport. It was yeah. a really neat spot. I I enjoyed that. Yeah, it we was were a sitting really on the water cool spot. and they had music in the background and um, it, yeah, it was fun. It, it was a nice spot, uh, and they had good food and uh, good entertainment. And uh, there's a link in that video if you ever do go uh, to one of Rizelle's videos where she gives you a secret, super secret oh, code. Oh yeah. For uh, like a free rum punch or something if you go in. So, yes. uh, and it was good, dude. It was good. <laughs> it was strong. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, anyway, so we started watching Rizelle's videos last year before we went to St. Martin. Really wanted to meet her, but didn't have a chance. So this yes, year yeah. we emailed her and we booked um, her private tour. So she's going to take us around to hopefully some super secret, amazing spots around the that island. Maybe we've Martin. never seen. Hopefully stuff that yeah, we've never seen. That, yeah. That's pretty because, cool. uh, because we, you know, we've been going for years and we've seen and done a lot on that island. Um, we, every year we go to, to Phillipsburg. Every year we go to Marigo. Uh -huh. um, pretty much every year we climb up to uh, Fort St. Louis yeah. in Marigo. Yeah. Most years we go to uh, Grand Cas, yeah. um, and of course and we. This past year we went to both the, the well the Carnival, and then we went yeah. to the the, the Grand Grand Cas had a market or yeah what was Grand that Grand Cas uh, their Marty Marty which is their Tuesday market. Uh, well, that was pretty cool too. Kind of like Carnival street party. Yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get there this year. Maybe. Um, we don't have anything planned on Tuesday, so we might go back to the Marty market. Uh, that would be a lot of fun. All right. Thank you. Uh, Hikanuki world tour. Uh, we're going to have to look you up after this is over and we will hit you guys, uh, as well. Um, so anyway, that's uh, all we really have planned. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much. Well, no, we're we're planning on uh, renting uh, an ATV oh, or UTV yes, yes. for a day. Um, and we, going beach. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I should do phones that. Phones are, are talking to us. Um, yeah. What was going it? Last shopping, year right? we talked about. No, it was year before last. Uh, we went on an ATV tour or UTV tour of Saint Martin. And oh, went yeah. all over That's the place. That's where I got that yellow shirt that I love so yeah. much that I wear in like, all the videos. We were stuck with the tour. Uh, they mm -hmm. also allow you to rent the ATVs for the day. And when we go to St. Martin, we normally don't rent a vehicle. Almost never. Uh, I think in the 16, out of the 16 years that we've been going, there's only been one. Uh, no, twice we rented a vehicle. And one time was... What it was, we 
we won a, a free day uh, rental vehicle because we went and looked at some kind of timeshare thing that they were selling there. Oh, didn't like, we get like the casino really money or something? Yeah, and we got casino. That was our first year there, I think. Uh, that was, it, no, the second year, because we got uh, okay. we got like okay. hundred bucks in in uh, casino free play, and we got a rental car for a day, and all these different things. And we figured, okay, um, we'll we'll take the vehicle, and we kind of drove around the island. That was when when. Uh, our daughters were, were there with us. Oh, and that's so, why I don't remember a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then one other time when your dad was there with us, uh, I think he we rented, rented a, a Jeep. Oh, yeah, I rented a Jeep. Because I love the Jeeps. And he made you drive and sit in all the traffic and you were grumbly. <laughs> yeah. But so we don't normally rent vehicles um, and we don't normally take cabs either. Uh, mm -hmm. most well, of we the take a cab when we have to. Yeah, when we have to. There's some oh. places or times of day when you kind of have to take a cab. The rest of the time, we're jumping on the buses. Yeah, take the bus. Because, you know, for a couple of bucks, you can get from Maho to Phillipsburg. Our timeshare is in Maho, right there on Maho Beach. Pretty much every video that you see of the airplanes landing, uh, you can see the Royal Islander there in the background. That's where we so, stay. That's where we stay. So we can. So we watch you all on yeah. the beach. <laughs> we, we watch all the crazy people on the beach playing yeah. chicken with the airplanes. Um, <clears throat> so. And then, so that was the ATV. And then yeah. um, we're going to do some beach hopping. Yeah. Because we've, we've never. We've, we've never really, really beach hopped that, on St. So Martin. I mean, do some beaches. we've been to Kupakoi. We've been to. Yeah, uh, but not really. Orient Beach. Um, That's because every tour takes Grand to Beach. Yeah, I mean, everybody goes to Orient Beach. Yeah. So do. I would like to go um, to a different spot on Kupakoi where I went when I was younger. You can't, it's hard it's, to get there now. It's hard to get now. down to Kupakoi unless, unless the tides are right. So Yes, yeah, so you can only yeah. access that at a certain time of the year. Yeah. And it was usually like in February, March. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what we've got going on. You guys uh, got any suggestions for us? Yeah. Um, you do. Make sure if, you put them in the comments or if, the chat box. If you're watching this on replay, make sure you put it in the comments. Uh, we will probably be checking those out uh, Saturday or Sunday, maybe Monday, Tuesday. I mean, we'll, and we'll be make a decision at some point. We're going, yeah. we're, we're going out of Charlotte. So, yeah. We've so, got, we'll we got a three hour drive to Charlotte yeah. from where we live. Because uh, we live up in the mountains of Western North Carolina, uh, closest airport is an hour away, and it's a small regional airport that would just fly us to Charlotte. So, right for an extra uh, couple hundred bucks. So right why not for an just extra couple of hundred bucks, so we might as well drive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's going to be a great time this year. Still haven't decided if I'm going to. It's going to be a short time. If I'm going to try to do a. Uh, I think I might as I might as well do a revisit of my uh, jet blast challenge. Nice. I, however, <laughs> will not be close to you this time. Uh, no. Well, I mean, now we got a nice zoom lens, so you can stand well off. Yes. Put it on a tripod. So, and, if you and, guys uh, didn't watch that, I was what fifty feet away. Oh, 50 yards away. Yards, at least. Sorry, yeah, fifty feet. That would be far. Yeah. Fifty yards, and I was getting pelted. Yeah. as well and the camera was being all slung around and stuff yeah you can see some of that in in the video <laughs> and uh, you hear kids crying and we're like oh no <laughs> thank you <laughs> it, it was pretty bad yeah because last year we were fi filming on a cell phone on a gimbal mm -hmm. and so she was standing there with the gimbal and that jet blast hit and that gimbal went Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. yeah <laughs> it was uh and i was getting it healthy. was funny yeah and we it was just too much. Couldn't handle it. Too much fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too much fun. Yeah. And this year, we've got some new gear. So we've got. He buys new gear all the time. He spends so much money on that yeah. stuff. Well. That's not how I wanted to say it. Sorry, but I wanted to say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then we spend it my own money. That's what yeah. I wanted to say. But anyways. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we bring you all that cinematic views though. But what's wonderful? You do a great job. That's that's the intention to try to get the, the pretty views and the and right. the nice stuff that 
you know, it's going to be our memories 20 now, years now from you now. Gotta send, now you got to sell some stuff too. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of some of the stuff, but we do have the Insta360, so that may, be, may give an interesting perspective for the uh, hmm. jet blast on the 360 camera. Oh, yeah, that might be fun. Yeah. Can you strap it to you? I can. I think maybe strap it to your head or something, or your. <gasps> I know, wear a hat and duct tape it around your hat. Yes. Oh, no, wait, but you got to put your hat on backwards, though, and make it real tight. Yeah. Shh. That might be fun. Know, I don't know. That might be fun. What do you guys when, think? When, you want to see him do that? When when people wear <laughs> wear hats, those hats end up hundred yards out in the ocean. No, but if you put it on backwards so, and duct tape the camera around real tight, I'm not it will be nice. And... Camera to my head. <laughs> you crazy? I, I still think that might be a lot of fun. Uh, I've got a I got a stick I can put it. Oh, on. Oh, Captain Bob, we did that. We did that last year, right? Yeah. Let's see. Hi, Carnival Cruise Addicts. There's a six hour Captain Bob speedboat. Yep. Yeah. Uh, beach tour. Yeah, we did Captain Bob. We uh, did uh, the speedboat. We did it was the pirate. Well, we we pirate did Billy dinner. Bones last Billy year. Billy Bones, yeah. not Captain Bob. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Billy Bones was fun. I, I would do that again. That's that's been one of our favorite style tours. Mm -hmm. um, is the speedboat around the island. That goes to Tintamar and Pinnell. Pinnell and Creole Rock and, and all that stuff. Welcome, yeah. Carnival Cruise Addicts. Thanks for stopping in. Um, and that one we've done multiple times with multiple companies. Yeah, we've done a bunch of different started, companies. It started with, I don't, I don't remember the, the gentleman's um, name, but that was, I think the first one was one of the best ones we ever had. Yeah. The, yeah. What? pirate tours or something it, like yeah, that. Yeah, it was it was called a pirate tour at that time. Yeah. I don't think they do now. And it's on a speedboat. Like a cigarette boat. I mean, these things were boom, yeah. they would and take so off. And so you'd be like, Captain, I, I'm on, I gotta go swimming, you know, because you got an open bar, so you, you know, <laughs> you have to go swimming a lot. <laughs> so he'd just stop me to all jump off and, you know. All right, Abby's saying, oh, did you do the Anguilla and Prickly Pear uh, K's day trip? She's just looking at things on Google. Uh, we have done the Lombada, mm -hmm. that uh, which is a we took the great girls that big that year. Yeah, great big catamaran. So it's been eight we've years. been a, we've been a few times on we've the Lombada. Been, yeah, but have we been to Anguilla and Pick Pear? Yeah, since well, we took the girls. We went one time with my sister. Okay. And we went one time with other friends that we brought with us. So we've done we've done the Lombada, uh, Prickly Pear, and Anguilla a few times. And that's okay. I mean, it's, it's a it really big video. boat. I mean, right. it's a great big catamaran. Probably had holds 100 people on it. Um, hmm. Whatever you do, make sure you have local beer. We can probably... SXM, local beer. You know, um, last year, we actually... Well, I actually brewed with another local brewery there. You did. Uh, Pelican Brewing. I did. Uh, over in Cole Bay. Yep. He left me on the tendage for the day. I did. Yes. That, that was our split day video. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we met them a few years ago and SXM is actually just uh, down the road from them, not mm -hmm. too far. Um, but yeah, I went over there and I brewed one of our recipes uh, with what Pelican brew Brewing. It was our blonde. It was the blonde. Yep. And they had a premiere in, in, um, in May, I think, last year. I wonder if yeah. they're still brewing it. We should tell them we're coming. Oh, uh, yeah. We haven't contacted yeah. them this year yet. No. Maybe that'll be fun. You guys can see some footage in a local brewery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, SXM's pretty good, depending on where you get it. I mean, the thing with St. Martin is it's, it's draft beer is almost unheard of. Well, hold on. Let's, and, let's put it in perspective. Yeah. I have a, a brewmaster here who brews his own beer professionally, commercially. Yeah. And so he does have a little more information than the average person. So that's now you can say whatever you're going to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> most beer on Caribbean islands are, are lagers. Uh, I do brew a few lagers, but I don't know. Why are we talking about beer? Um, well, at least Pelican. Because it came up that we need to. Yeah. And then you started down our, you know, the rabbit hole. I just wanted to give a background if you started giving information yeah. about beer so they understood why you were speaking, where I'm coming from. Right. Yeah, the, gotcha. the knowledge that you have. Okay. So I brew lagers, but I also, I primarily brew ales just because that's 
that's the craft beer space. And they're quicker. Um, and they're quicker. You know, yeah. lagers take a whole lot longer uh, to go through the process. But uh, <clears throat> the rest of the breweries only you, brew lagers. So. Right. And you were talking and they're about mainly light lagers. So. Draft, so, yeah. Uh, you'd love to go drinking with me. Well, uh, come on. We're, we'll meet up sometime. Uh, you guys, uh, do cruises. Well, in fact, we've got a, we've got a group cruise coming up in November, in November. Tell you what, let me, let me, let me show you, throw that out there real quick. And then we'll get back to some of Abby's suggestions here. Abby's putting a whole bunch of stuff out yeah. here. So here we go. Have you ever thought about going on a group cruise to get some of those perks and special pricing? Well, this is your chance. Mountains to Sea Crew is hosting our first ever group cruise. We've got an amazing lineup of ports for you and some incredible pricing on the cabins. Just email amy at eecctravel.com for details and booking. I'm certain you're going to have a great time. He is certain. Yep, I'm certain. <laughs> so Especially with have it all. Yeah, so that's November 10th to the 17th. Leaves out of Fort Lauderdale. And the have it all is basically you have it all. You have your drink package. You got your Wi-Fi. You've got a specialty dining. You have uh, $100 off a shore excursion per person. Yep. Am I missing anything? Did I get it all? Wi-Fi. I mean, drink package alone. Uh, that. What's that? Go back to the chat so I can see if oh, anybody's yeah. saying anything. The drink package alone <laughs> makes it worth it. I mean, geez, we paid. Gosh, I don't even want to think how much well, we, we paid for a drink package. Plus dollars before. a day. Yeah, it's like ridiculous per person. And you're getting that so. included. You're getting Wi-Fi included. Geez, yeah. we, we were paying twenty bucks a day for Wi-Fi. Well, more than that, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so. good deal. It'll be a lot of fun. Yep. Yes, and those ports, um, we have not, we've been to St. Thomas, but we didn't get off the ship. It was yeah. on the Icon uh, because we knew that we were going back in November. So uh, we we're like, you know what? We're going to have more time there. Right. So we decided to explore the ship while everybody was off on the Icon. So uh, so technically we haven't been off the ship in St. Thomas. We have not so been off the ship in St. Thomas. Oh, in Nassau, we were at it. Yeah. Originally, it was a different one. So, but yes. Right. So, very cool. Yeah. All right. So, let's see here. Uh, we talked about the Anguilla. Yeah. The Abby Rainforest. says uh, Rainforest Adventures. We have not been to Rainforest Adventures. When wasn't that They've the, got uh, the, the steepest zip line in the world. So, that I don't, I don't think I can do a zip line. Uh, I'm I'm a I'm afraid of heights. I do things with heights, but zipline I'm I'm not sure that I could do that. And now that you are under the white the the white the the weight requirements, that's good. See, like yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay, we can't go, yeah, because you know we we we're on not you know we're over the weight requirements, but now we're under. <laughs> so. Last year I probably would have been over. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. All right, uh, we will take a look at that one and see what the possibilities we are. Done it. I know we did, uh, we have not done that, and they've got other stuff that you can do around there as well, so that it looks kind of interesting. And it's one that I've really uh thought about, um, about doing. Abby says you should go to Turks and Caicos. Uh, I found out it's really expensive though. Um, well, we are. In the group on the cruise, group cruise, on the group cruise, cruise we're going to Turks Grand Turk. Um, all right, we got folks subscribing, that's awesome! Yeah, um, support, support. absolutely support each other, watch each other's videos, leave comments. Um, because guess what? What are the majority of our subscriptions? It's to other. YouTubers that are kind of in the travel yeah, and we enjoy and watching space. them as well. We enjoy know? watching yeah. them. So that's what we subscribe to. And when we, when we have uh, time, which can be kind of limited at, at times, mm -hmm. especially when I go down one of my tech rabbit holes and, and just which start, has been on for like yeah, weeks. I've, I've so a, I'm going to yeah. slingshot us right back and I'm going to ask okay. you a question. Yep. Do we have anything? Okay. So if you had to pick one thing, whether you've done it or not, in St. Martin to do, what would it be? Oh, oh it's going to take a minute. One folks. thing. Got to find that compartment. Gosh, 
there's just so many fun things to do. I, I mean, I, I love just taking the bus down to Phillipsburg and walking around on a, on a day when there's no ships in port. <laughs> Uh, or going out on Maho Beach on days when there's no ships in port. Yeah, when the ships are in port, it gets busy, but that's just me. I like to avoid the crowds. Um, the or what? Well, have you I done mean, that like done, I said, a lot of fun. one thing that I'd like to do again because I think I'd appreciate it more was uh, taking the ferry over to Saba. Okay. Yeah. So we did that our first year in St. Martin. Eight um, years ago. Eight years ago. It's 2000. Oh, no. 16 years ago. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Twice <laughs> that. Double that. Yeah. Oh, my um, God. So you can take a, a ferry that's like an hour and a half or something like that. Me. It was 16 years ago. What yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> and it takes you over to Saba, which is yeah. an island directly south of, of St. Martin. And that is actually the, the island that was Skull Island in the original uh, King Kong movie. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's this really cool uh, dormant volcano. Uh, the whole island is extremely steep. Uh, all the vehicles are like these really narrow things because the road is a, they say it's a road that can never be built. And it was designed by this Dutch engineer. And, they and it. it just curved. You, probably one of the curviest roads you'd ever see. Oh, it's pretty scary yeah. too. And it would take you all the way up to the top. And at the very top uh, of the road, there was still a, a hike that you can do to, to the mm -hmm. very peak. Uh, there's a medical college. So medical school up there. That's pretty cool. And then they take you down to the other side and there's an airport there. So it was kind of interesting. All right, so we got a couple of things that right there, and that one right there. So let's see, let's let's go up here. Let's see what I don't, this what is. Are you talking about? Have you oh, been to Tapas and St. Thomas? Great local beers, or we thought so anyway. Uh, no, I haven't actually heard our Tapas uh, in St. Thomas. Tapas. Um, have we'll, not been we'll there. Have, have not heard of out. them, but we'll have to check them out um, in St. Martin. Uh, we pretty much always drink Essex or not SXM, but uh, Carib, yeah, Carib or Heineken if they don't have Carib. They usually always have Carib, yeah. though. Yeah, um, that's... There's another one there. All right, let's see. So, here. where's this? Kimshaw Beach is super fun, not super big waves. There's a water trampoline and coconuts you can drink from. Now, that sounds like a lot of fun. That there. sounds interesting. Okay. Uh, I've heard seas. of Kimshaw Beach. We have not been there. Uh, there's a lot of little beaches that yeah, uh, yeah. hopefully we'll see some of those hidden beaches um, as we go. All right. Checking our vacation schedule. The November cruise might work yeah. for us. So, uh, it would be great to have you. It's going to be a fun time. I guarantee you. Yes. Uh, this is our first group cruise. Uh, that we've scheduled, but we're we've got a, a good group of people coming so far. A fun group of people. A fun group yeah, of people. It's gonna yeah. be fun. It's mostly close friends of ours mm -hmm. and such, but yeah. it'll well, be a no, great not time. all. There's some. Not all of them. There, there's, there's some. There's friends of friends of friends. Friends of so friends that of we, friends. There's and, people that so, I haven't necessarily met. Yeah. But, yeah. It's gonna be a great time. Can't wait. Oh, Abby says it. Yep. I wish I could come, but I don't think I can. Maybe the next time because my parents would like to go on a cruise soon. Yeah, our awesome. grandson wants to go with us, and our daughter is uh, is gonna is, is scheduled. Well, she's having a baby, and so the baby's gonna be three months. So yeah. I don't think they're gonna. I don't be able think to they're gonna it. go this year. <laughs> yeah. They went with us back in October or in November when we were on yeah. Odyssey for Laurie's last birthday. This is Laurie's next birthday cruise. Well, that's how this happened. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, that that be careful with the drink package on a cruise. <laughs> it all goes back. right. We'll, yeah, we'll just leave that out there. Yeah, anyways, anyways, okay. Uh huh. So yeah, um, like I say, if if you don't, if you think of something later, or yeah. 
Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, drop something down in the comments. Let us know what your suggestions are, and we'll go through them. We'll figure something out, and uh, at some point, we will, at least in the, the video that we do from that location or whatever it is, the suggestion that was made, we'll shout you out. Yeah, and this this came from whoever suggested it. Yeah. First. First. Uh, yeah, first, first. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Um, I mean, we only have a week, and we do have some things planned and, and stuff, but um, we usually, well, we've been going for two weeks, so this is going right. to be. Uh, last at, year we went. For two, two years. Weeks. Two years we went. Because we got stuck there. Uh, well, we, that wasn't quite two weeks, but. Yeah, it was close. Yeah. So. Our flight got messed up one year. And. And let's see. Abby says, have you ever tried out other airlines beside American? I have. Absolutely. From living in other areas. Um, JetBlue used to fly direct. And I loved flying JetBlue. Uh, we unfortunately can't get JetBlue in this area. Yeah. So you're American talking is... about going to St. Martin. Yes. Yeah. If that's what you're talking yeah, about. If you, you mean going to St. Martin, yeah. I mean, we fly pretty much everything. We've flown JetBlue. We've flown Allegiant. We've flown. Well, we fly Allegiant a lot because there's a lot of direct flights from yeah. where we live. A lot of direct flights to Florida, mm -hmm. I mean, at least out of Asheville. So. Yeah. Ah, uh, hello, hello, Warmstrong. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Catch you up. We're uh, looking for suggestions of things that uh, you want to see us do in St. Martin. Yep, we're we're looking for suggestions. Taking uh, any suggestions you could give us as to things to do or fun stuff to do. We talked Always looking about a for couple of then. things that uh, that we've done in the past because we've been going for so many years. So we thought we'd let you guys um help us uh, make a decision so um you know when i asked you that question about what you enjoyed and all that stuff and i've been sitting here trying to think of something mm -hmm. i ain't got nothing i ain't got nothing huh you know what i did enjoy though and this is gonna sound i don't know if this is gonna sound lame or not i mean like i am old and lame but i mean i do like to have fun though i'm very contradictory but they had this um activities director or a person there that but this was all this was pre-covid when they actually probably you know paid for somebody to be there they have yeah somebody, but it's she shares a role so she doesn't do as much right and they used to do daily walks every day that was cool yeah and you know at that point i was going to st martin for like 25 plus years and when we went on those daily walks i went places that i had never gone before yeah. And I saw things that I'd never seen, like local trees and like just like just local things that, you know, are just are there that you don't really see because you're going here, here and everywhere. And that I want to say I always enjoyed. And so it starts cool. out kind of kind of slow and and not too long. And then as the week progressed, it we went, went further, further and further and further. And yeah. further. And it was, that was a lot of fun. I did it. Was it. Pretty I, cool. I enjoyed that because I was able to see areas that I'd never seen before. Yeah. I mean, the, there's some places that are within walking distance of Maho that, I mean, neat little beaches that you could get to. Mm -hmm. um, like the one over on the other side of the airport. Back yeah. behind that casino. So Right. So yeah. I think that we're going to do that. All right. We've got, uh, Wormstrong has a suggestion. She said that they said that they're a beach person. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a beach person, beach, beach beer, beer and sun, sun would I'd be in heaven. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. I don't get to do that very often because that's not very good content, but uh, <laughs> entertainment. I, th <laughs> I, I think you prefer uh, the floaty in a beer. Oh, yes. When we go on excursions, <laughs> give me a noodle, give me a beer, and I noodle will and sit a beer. there yep. and drink it. He'll snorkel. Like, I don't mind snorkeling. But give me a beer and a noodle. <laughs> Pretty happy. <laughs> uh, he says, we used to love Orient Bay, but haven't been back since Hur Hurricane Irma. Has it recovered? A lot uh, of the island has yeah. recovered. There's, there's still some places that have not. Yeah. Th but, there's, uh, it's like a lot like of the Caribbean islands. It's, it, 
you know, like when we were in, um, uh, uh, St. Kitts, one of the things that they told us in St. Kitts was that, uh, the way the tax laws are there, if your roof, the roof of your house, or if your um, house does not have a roof on it, you don't get taxed. So until your, your construction is complete and you actually have a roof on your house, they don't tax you. That's why you see all of these half built structures that, you know, have all the, uh, the, the plumbing, rebar sticking yeah. out yeah. and plumbing and all this other stuff but they haven't finished it. It's like a, a, a tax shelter. <laughs> and I, I never knew that. I was St. I was, that was St. Kent, so I don't know. If yeah, well, I mean, that, I, you but... see that all over St. Martin too. Yeah. You know, these half built houses that uh, I guess people are living in. The tourist areas have, have, been, have been rebuilt. Yeah. All the tourist uh, areas have I, been rebuilt. There was a, a place, uh, Sherry's, that used to be in Mono yep. that we used to go to all the time. It was the, it was the place to go. And every night they'd have live entertainment. And, you know, if you didn't get there early, you wouldn't get a seat. And even though the food wasn't the greatest, uh, the entertainment was always a lot of fun. And it was always, it was a big thing. It was. It was. And so that go. got taken out by the hurricane and that they never rebuilt. Yeah. And so they bought, I don't know who bought that property. Somebody bought put, the property and they put two, two, two restaurants two in, in that space. Nice restaurants. Really nice um, restaurants. Yeah. I don't remember the. I don't remember the name of the Asian one, but the uh, the Italian one was Roma's, and we went there and did. We, uh, there last we year, had a yeah. video on that. Mr. Chang's Food or something like, like that was yeah. the Asian side. The wow. Italian was like top notch. It, it was, was. It was really good. It was amazing. <laughs> yep. So. Oh, All right. Uh, but yeah, most of most of the island is recovered. Orient Beach. Uh, we were there. We were there last year. Last year. On the um, ATV. Or it was year before last. So, yeah, Did it was. Did you go last year? No. I mean, we went to Pinnell, Pinnell Island, which is the oh, island. Oh, because we out, took the Billy Bones. Out there in the in Orient Bay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry said, Laura, you get really good birthdays on cruises. Yeah. Yeah. It was so much. It was. It was a big birthday last year, which was my, that's why we did it for the first time. And I was like, oh my God, we had so much fun. It's got to be an annual thing now. Yeah. So that's why we booked a cruise in November. And, and here you go. Abby says Mullet Bay Beach. We have not, I have not been there in years. I was going to St. Martin when they had the hotel on that beach and they, and it got destroyed in the nineties by a hurricane. And I used to go and walk around the ruins and stuff uh, because I can walk there from where the timeshare was. And so they have, apparently from what I understand, there was a lot of legal stuff going on and they, that's why n nothing ever happened with it. So what they did, I was not rebuild the beach, but they put all these things there to attract the tourists. And it also has a golf course there. So they, they kind of captured that area for people to go. And so we've never really spent any time there. No, I think we've walked over there once. Um, we walked through it on a hike we just, or something. Yeah, we right? just kind of walked really through it, but stopped. we never went and stopped. And, and I've seen a lot of videos from people in St. Martin uh, that have gone to Mullet Bay. And a lot of people love Mullet Bay. Apparently, there's really good snorkeling there. Mm -hmm. uh, controversial cruising, welcome. Hello, welcome. Hello and welcome. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a really nice and fairly calm beach. Um, I can't say so I've ever actually been to the beach. Maybe once, but you're talking like thirty plus years. So, <laughs> so I can't. I don't aging really. yourself there. Uh, well, I'm old. Yeah. I said earlier, I'm old. Well, I yeah, mean, she, look, you know, she's been going to St. Martin since the '80s when her parents <sighs> bought this time. She's barely a teenager. Maybe like 12, 13 or something yeah. when I first started going. But yeah, it's been years. Years so and years. We, and, we, and everybody we talk to, like my dad, like, because, you know, my family still goes. And so my dad and my aunt were like, hey, you need to go to Mullet Bay. You need to go to Mullet Bay. So mm -hmm. that could be a suggestion yeah. right there. That's one that we have been considering. Yes. And yes. Of course, uh, I want to get out and get away from Maho because. Maho right at the airport. I can't 
Can't use your drone. Can't use my drone. So because it's the airport. Yeah, at the airport, it wouldn't be safe. Even though St. Martin doesn't really have any restrictions, it's not. It's not a good place. And here's a suggestion so. for you guys. So you let me know what you think. But if you guys like Bloody Marys, oh uh, boy, there's a place across the way called uh, it's, it's yeah. Morgan. Uh, the Morgan. Okay, the Morgan. so. So you've got the airport and you've got the beach. So the airport's here, the beach is here, and you've got uh, the Sunset Grill. Yeah. So it's on on one side on, of the beach. Yeah, so behind the Sunset Grill the sunset is the Morgan, grill. and they mm -hmm. have this Bloody Mary, and it's what like thirty bucks or something. Twenty. Yeah. I mean, no, maybe twenty five. I think because I think my nephew was like stupid. they just spent like fifty. Bucks so it's got a, a skewer of shrimp and it's got filet mignon, mignon and like and all this stuff in this like all this. I mean, it's like uh, dinner. In I a could glass. probably find a picture. Um, I'd have to grab my phone. It's over there. But so if you guys are interested in seeing us drink that now, I have to say I love tomato juice, but I've never really had a Bloody Mary. Have yeah. you? Mm. Yeah, I've had a Bloody Mary before. Okay, so if you guys want to see but us I'm not drink a fan some Bloody of tomato Mary, juice. I know, but if you guys want us to do it, <laughs> we'll get him to do it too. <sighs> I mean, the, the yeah, garnish yeah, yeah. is like this high, and the glass is the same size. So, like, the whole thing is like from pictures, it looks like, oh, wait, hold can't on. even see your hands. Ooh, hey. It looks like this big, it's humongous. <laughs> Yeah, that would probably. You had uh, me at Bloody Mary. <laughs> uh, let's see if uh, I can grab that picture. I'm going to see so, if I can uh, find it and show it. Yeah, you had me at Bloody Mary. Uh, my mini husky Bowie says hi. Well, hi, uh, Bowie. And Sherry says, I like Bloody Marys in the morning. I just. I've never really gotten into the whole tomato juice thing. I'm not a big tomato fan, period. I'll eat salsa and, you know, marinara sauce, but that's about the extent of my tomatoes. <laughs> so. Trying to see if maybe. I can find it quickly while we're talking. Yeah, find it and, and, and hold it up to the camera. I'm going to. See what people could actually see from your, your phone. Um, but yeah, not a big Bloody Mary fan. Oh, that's too far back. <clears throat> but yeah, Laurie's, uh, your brother, uh, I'm sorry, your, or nephew and your sister-in-law, I think went yes. over there. Yes. Yes. All right. We'll see you later. Uh, Abby. Bye, Abby. Thanks for coming in. Uh. They used to have that on Cocoa Beach. Interesting. So, yeah, um, that's a neat one. What else? We Last year we did the, uh, the Topper's Rum Tour, and that was a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. So that was, that was. That was pretty cool. We got a lot of a uh, lot of different types of rum. We that, thought that it would be serve. different than it was. We did because of the videos we watched. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we watched uh, Para DJ's video on the Toppers Rum tour. They took a one of the bus tours where they went stopped at Toppers Rum, did the tour there, went to Maho Beach, and then back. But you know, you look at those and it's like, wow, spent a lot of money doing that when. The bus system is just so easy, super stupid easy in St. Martin and, you know, cheap. So you can go over to, to Maho Beach, hang out at one of the bars or a restaurant, have some good food, lots of beer on the beach, watch the planes land, watch them take off. And, you know, when you're done, after you've seen a couple of the big jumbo jets land, Hop back on the bus and go back to Phillipsburg and boom, no problem. Well, I can't find it fast, but what I can promise is that I will get that picture and I yep. will I will put, put it, it up on social media. Put it up on Instagram and Facebook. So yep. if you're not connected to us on Instagram or Facebook, make sure you do that. Uh, it's at M2C Crew on Instagram yep. and, and uh, Mountains to Sea Crew on Facebook, I believe. So. I know I have it. But... Yeah. 
All yeah. right. Anything well, else? Nothing new. Let's see. You need to do a live while doing a blood, Bloody Mary's. Huh. Oh. Uh, I, you know, if Corey will do it, I will do a live. Okay. Will you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Why not? That would that would be kind of kind of interesting. We can By see if we can do it. It depends on whether whether we've got uh, data to to do a live. Oh well, we'll have to do it on our phone. Yeah, we'll have to do it on your phone or something. Yeah, so I we can't promise the quality, but we do we'll have the data on the phone. Uh so yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it, Captain. We're gonna do it. <laughs> all right i'm excited yeah i hope i laugh probably hate it but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna eat it all <laughs> i'll probably i'm gonna eat all the stuff and then i'll do my best to drink it are we supposed to drink it and eat at the same time sure. kind of like a pairing or like how does it how does it work well, do you drink and then snack i mean sure <laughs> makes sense to me i mean you got a meal in a glass <laughs> you do Eat and drink and <laughs> I mean, be yeah, merry he's got huge pieces of shrimp and filet mignon and i can't remember what else those are the two that, i remember yeah, the most that's the things i remember i think yeah. there were other stuff in there too i don't know i don't i don't know it was it was <laughs> insane the the look of the things we'll have you'll have to post that picture yeah yeah i'll shout you out sherry <laughs> All right, guys. They're like this is for destination fun, Captain Sherry. Come right at you. Oh, <laughs> well, this has been fun. Yeah. Uh, like I say, if you come up with any other ideas, put them down in the comments after this is over. Yeah, it's been almost and, an hour, uh, so we want to be respectful of your time. Yeah, and yeah. some of these things we're definitely going to do. So I guess we're going to pick more than one. I said, yeah. you know, I like, mean, we're going to we're gonna go to a, Mullet Bay and Abby big, suggested yeah, that. And so. if it's a big money excursion, then yeah, we can only do one. But if it's like these onesie twosie little things that we can potentially fit yeah. in and it, you know, won't break our pocket. Yeah, let's do it. And when we're on the, when we rent that ATV, we can go anywhere we want. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's, that's one thing that I definitely want to do on the ATV is get up to, uh, uh, to pick. Pick Paradise. Okay. That's we the highest, a lot about highest that. mountain okay. in, yeah. in St. Martin. You can't get up there in a car. You would need a four-wheel drive or a Jeep or something like that, mm -hmm. like an ATV. So that's probably going to be the only way that we can get up there. Okay. So you heard it here first. We're going to, where is it? Pick Paradise. Pick Paradise. Yep. So Hickanoogie, enjoy me and everyone. Oh, nice meeting you too. It'd be great to see you in November. We're gonna uh we'll look you guys up uh, as soon as this is over and uh and hit you with a sub and yeah and connect up. So and, and anybody else traveling to St. Martin this year, we're gonna give you a sneak peek on what you can do. Absolutely. Uh, whether you want to spend money or not spend money, we'll we'll have all kinds of different choices for you. Yep. All right, guys. I uh, don't know that we'll be back at this time next week. Well, no, we're going to do the Bloody Mary. It might be early. Well, yeah, we'll have to do the Bloody Mary early. But yeah, not yeah, sure yeah. what. Uh, we may not have anything next Wednesday at, at 9, nine Eastern. because we're going to be in St. Martin. And we've got – no, we don't have an excursion that day. So No, we have it the next maybe day. Maybe we could sit. We can try. We, we can try to do something. Yeah. I have to put a thumbnail Even if it's though. a, oh, snap. I am bringing all my stuff, so it's yeah. okay. I, I'll be able to do it. I, Corey talked to me into getting a new computer, so I have to, like, relearn because it's a different platform. So Yeah. my yeah. The, the, This uh, this tech rabbit hole that I've been diving down yeah. for the past few weeks, yeah. trying, to, trying to resolve some of my editing issues. Yeah. So, so. anyway. Anyways. All right, guys. So do you want to do the the peaks, the whatever? Sure. Okay, so we have a new sign-on, which we didn't do, and a sign-off. So yeah. <laughs> we're going to try it out on you guys first. All right, you ready? All right. So I'll, I'll say the first half. Okay. All right, guys, from peaks to tides. See you on the next ride. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.